Atomic multipath payment is just a way of implementing multipath payments routing scenario within Lightning Network. Sounds very technical, but it's just a great way to kill some theories of altcoiners and various Lightning skeptics propagating that channel structure of Lightning isn't enough to route most of the transfers, especially the bigger ones. Let's start from a normal type of payment, let's call it a single path payment. The transaction is being routed through the series of channels with enough capacity to route whole payment to the destination. In scenario on the screen, sending 60,000 satoshis is possible as we do have enough balances in all the channels on the path. But routing, for example, 100,000 satoshis would be impossible using this single path scenario. On the one hand, it promotes robust lightning network with high capacity channels, on the other hand, it makes the process problematic for smaller and less educated participants. Multipath payments, on the other hand, allows the payment process to be split into separate paths with their own distinct payment hash. They are atomic, cost payment either happens with all these separate paths succeeding or not happening at all, making it easier for smaller channels to be part of routing ecosystem of Lightning. Great example can be 2019 Lightning Network Torch Relay on Twitter, where participants had to split payments into few separate ones manually due to routing and capacity problems. Where in 2020 edition, so a year later, due to usage of multi-path payments, it wasn't necessary anymore, the splitting I mean. Bolt is a shortcut for basis of Lightning technology and is just a set of currently 11 specification documents, each describing different complexity chapter of the Lightning network. The name is obviously a backronym, where the phrase is constructed from an acronym. It's definitely needed as currently main four implementations being LND, C Lightning, Async and Rust Lightning are working separately on different code bases, with Bolt being main convergence point. As Lightning Network isn't like Bitcoin based on consensus, but the cooperation between nodes, there has to be a set of guidelines and Bolt being a cooperative focal point between all major implementations provide these common rules. Lightning service provider sounds similar to the internet service provider and for a reason. Lightning service provider roles in the ecosystem are to guarantee uptime on their nodes, rebalance channels and provide inbound liquidity. They are possibly the hubs providing services to those who need them. Let's look at the example. Some users with their home Raspberry Pi based nodes know how to open channels, keep them balanced, how to check against the zombie channels and where to get inbound liquidity from. But all people who still use custodial mobile apps, yes, unfortunately still a thing in 2020, these people usually aren't educated enough to be so extremely self-sovereign. Right now we can observe two wallet providers, speaking of Phoenix and Breeze, they maintain their own nodes which serve as a bridge between users with non-custodial setup and the rest of the Lightning Network. All characteristics of LSPs are visible, with Breeze and Phoenix nodes being well connected, having balanced channels, very high uptime and providing initial inbound liquidity if needed. And because being a Lightning service provider is fully opt-in action, I don't think it centralizes Lightning network in a way that is being perceived by Lightning skeptics. Turbo channel. This one is easy. It's a channel in which parties, upon opening new channel, don't need to wait standard few confirmations after the initial opening phase to use it, saving almost an hour of time before the channel can be usable. It's a way of speeding up process of onboarding new users but for some additional cost usually and this service has to be ordered and paid for. All because it works on basis of push amount. While opening channel, user can assign the values on his side of the channel as well as the funds on the other side, which will be sort of donated to other peer. 
In beginnings of Lightning, many people, including me, had mistakenly used this method to create balanced channels. Obviously, I lost these funds as they were sent irreversibly to the other peer. But there are services that weaponize this possibility to allow their users turbo fast, no confirmation channel openings, and the name has stuck. Wombo channels, the name comes from Spongebob and in a sense is a word opposite to mini. Watch this. You got it set to M for mini, when it should be set to W for Wumbo. Patrick, I don't think Wumbo is a real word. Come on, you know. I Wumbo, you Wumbo, he, she, me, Wumbo. As I mentioned, when speaking about Bolt, there are multiple Lightning Network implementations and every implementation may have some maximum amount limit you can open the channel with. For LND, historically, it was 0.04294967 BTC, while recently it was changed to 0.16777215 BTC. Why Wombo channels? LND is the most used Lightning implementation and the devs are bold about it being still in the beta phase. Every few months we do have some vulnerability disclosures and even in 2020 using Lightning is reckless, hence developers building this artificial limit to mitigate the amount of eventual losses for the users. It's also worth mentioning that probably average user wouldn't be even aware of Wombo due to amount of Bitcoin needed to max out the channel capacity. And that was it for this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button underneath. Subscribe if you didn't. More videos like that will come in the future. Patrick, I'm sorry I doubted you.